So I'm going to go push this over live. Welcome, welcome everyone to the Dr. Jason West Headache Protocol and Headache Solutions Program. It's just so fun to see it working. If you make sure you press play to see that it's working right. All right, we've got some viewers on, so I'm confident it's working. Would someone please give me a response or just a, a comment and tell me that it's working? Like, please push the play to start the live cast and give me a comment over there. That would be absolutely fantastic. I would love it if you guys can do that. So here we go. We are going to be talking about the headache system or headaches and how it affects people and some neat things or opportunities uh, for us to really help people. And I'm going to be able to tell you exactly what my dad uh, taught me and it's just fantastic. Okay, so I see it's working. Uh, make sure the sound is working. I think the sound is working. All right, you guys, let's get after it and let's go and, and get ready to go through the headache report. So that's what we're going to put here and we are going to drop this in and here is what it looks like. Okay, this is what I would do. So you guys, the reason why I decided to do this segment is because I wanted to reverse what's happening with the roles inside the office. So this is really neat that I get to be able to tell you that this is what happened if I was on the other side of the desk. And so being able to really get genuine and authentic and be able to tell people, this is how I see, this is what I see inside the office. And so a couple things that I would be associated with this. Number one, right here, right underneath me is the report. This is the Dr. Jason West headache report. Let's see if I can uh, figure this out. Let's see. It's about 12 pages of ideas and suggestions um, that we can go through. And um, I'm excited to be able to show people what's happening inside of some anatomy and some other things. So I'm going to share that with people. We're just going to uh, get in and get after it. Now, I do want to just say this. Um, Please uh, press play if, uh, okay, um, and then you can start picking this up. All right, so you guys, let's just get after the headache component, and then I'm going to tell you where you can see people that uh, really, really have a nice impact on, on headaches. So many different ways, so many different causes of headaches, so I'm just going to jump into it uh, right away. Here we go. The first thing I wanted to talk about is yuck. What happens when we have tons and tons of headaches is it's not good. And here's what I mean by that. Not good means if you have stuff going on inside of your body that is taking up pain, and headaches are a huge part of that, like it is such a quality impact on life. So who hasn't had a headache? Like literally, we believe everybody has had a headache. And so what does that mean? It means that there is a better life to live. Now, so many times people just throw you over the counter medicines. You know, look, I've had some pain. I'm so glad that there's something out there available. A lot of times uh, people just get put on some prescriptive medications and then the doc is like, hey, when, when the stop, when your body becomes used to it, we'll just go up on the medications. Sometimes there's no other alternatives. And so if you have exhausted alternatives, this is for you. If you are happy with your medical regimen, you're not looking for anything, this probably right isn't the right uh, video for you because I'm going to be talking about different alternatives. And again, there's no one size fits all. But let's jump right into the headache protocol. So one of the biggest things I need to tell people about, like, is such a problem with relationships. Like, <laughs> if you don't feel good, and I just had this happen this week, if you don't feel very good, then what occurs is you can be living your life down here when you should be living your life all the way up here. And so I call it a relationship uh, blocker because when you're not feeling very good, it's hard for your emotions to feel good. And the causes of headaches are so many different things, but just like start going through the list, stress, uh, recreational drugs, loud noises, common colds, chronic viral infections, rapid ingestion of very cold foods or beverages, dental problems, and sinus problems. Yep, see it all the time. And so I just kind of, I like this little report 
where it talks about, hey, these are the common causes, stress, overload, trauma, and teeth. Like the, It's so amazing to me the effect that teeth health have on your overall health. And so many times when we go to help people, I find infected or bad teeth. So if you haven't had a medical or a dental review and workup and you have a chronic health problem, particularly headaches, I, I, am, I have no vested interest. I am not a dentist. I just have mad respect and recognition for what happens when you are not healthy. And so that's really important for you guys to know about that. Now, we have some really cool success stories. This is just one of them inside of our blog. It's not just me saying it. It's not theory. Matter of fact, I have one of my favorite medical researchers um, told me this statement about how he was interviewing someone that came up with this novel idea. And when he was interviewing him, he found out that this medical researcher had never had clinical experience in what he was researching which I'm glad that we have medical researchers, but I'm a clinician. And what does that mean? It means I'm in the trenches and I'm seeing what's helping Mr. Anderson, what's helping Mrs. Smith. And it's not just me saying it. It is people that are inside the trenches. So we're going to talk a little bit about kinds of headaches. Like they're listed right here. Tension headaches, cluster headaches, migraine headaches. I think these are the most common types of headaches, particularly hormone headaches for men and for women. Ladies, it's not just you. And if you don't think that, I mean, if men don't think that they have hormone headaches, like every significant other girlfriend and, and wife knows that there can be a significant hormone headache for men. All right. So let's just make sure that men get, sometimes they get worked up. They're like, I don't have hormone problems. Yeah, you do. Be Everybody has hormone problems. Um, it's not just the monthly cycle. It's male menopause, which is coming up in an upcoming segment. But here's the most common ones. And before I forget, there are some really important things to consider when it comes to headaches, particularly like when it's important to seek medical care. So let's check this out here. If you have a headache and it's the worst headache that you've ever seen, like one of the things that we're concerned about is a, a bacterial infection, a meningitis, or could be viral as well. Um, but if you have it's the worst headache you've ever had and you, you got to get some emergency, when you're confused, slurred speech, uh, vomiting, uh, rashes, paralysis in different types of your body, you guys don't wait. Like I, I've had people that, I have really good relationships. They go traveling. They're back on the East Coast. I've had this happen. Someone called up, and, and it was the wife saying, hey, my husband is not feeling very good. He doesn't know where he's at, he, and he, he will not go to the emergency room unless you talk to him. And my response is, like, you shouldn't ask me for that. Like, I, I, just go. And if you have confusion or paralysis in your side of the body, immediately seek medical intervention. Now, this this lecture, this information is really all about helping people with the management of chronic headaches. So let's jump into that. So when we start talking about brain concerns and stuff like that, I want everybody to just be aware that short term, and, and I have people that abuse short or over-the-counter medicines, um, and I have people that underutilize short-term medicines. And what I mean by that, like if you've had a really bad headache, Let's knock the edge off so that we can get you a little bit of relief until we can do some interventions, whether it's lifestyle, whether it's biomechanics or biochemistry, <coughs> excuse me. And so I'm not opposed to using some over-the-counter medicines. I had a armed services vet that says, I, I have a really bad headache, so I can manage them. And I just throw down a couple, you know, Tylenol and I'm like, okay, well, how many do you take? He's like, well, I just take 12 a day. I'm like 12 a day. He's like, yeah, I'm totally fine. Oh my gosh, this is a liver case just waiting to happen. We did a blood test, fortunately, and nothing had sent in yet. But my response is like, let's help you so that you don't have to take so much over-the-counter medicine because it does have some unwanted side effects. So unwanted means sometimes it really bothers people, rips up their GI system. Um, that's a very common uh, complaint. It's really, really hard on your liver. Matter of fact, long-term Tylenol damage is really, really tough to help support the liver. Sometimes people need stronger relief um, with, you know, Topermate or Imitrex. Uh, I mean, I'm not a prescribing doctor, so I don't know all the medicines that are over there. 
but so many times people are looking for some considerations. And so that's what I have inside of our hormone result, hormone book. So what does this mean? You guys, if you haven't uh, downloaded this right underneath me, right down here, there's a free download, a PDF section that you can go to and, uh, and, and you can download. There's no cost or obligation to do that. And I really do go through things like tension headaches and cluster headaches. And so I'm going to start and, and just, I'm just going to be going through the book. You're welcome to join me. So let's just jump right into this part. Okay, here we go. So inside of the headache report, I wanted to review. I, I, there's over 100 different types of headaches. I'm just going to be talking about some of the most common ones. So here they are. You know, tension headaches where you just feel like everything's coming together and uh, uncomfortable, short duration. What I mean by that, short duration, usually minutes to a couple hours. You feel a dull, aching um, sensation, usually across the forehead or scalp. And so some ideas when you have tension headaches. So the first thing, I, there's so many lifestyle things and so much emotional freedom that I think is important to consider when it comes to a tension headache. So what does that mean? You know what? There's no magic pill or lotion or potion to get rid of tension headaches or stress that causes tension headaches. But what, and what I meant to say with that, if you help to channel stress, it's really good for this. So it, it's interesting. I had a, an executive that said, you know, I used to get headaches all the time. I thought my life was so you know, stressful. It was just like, it was, he ran a business. It was a large business. And they said, you know what? I got cancer. And guess what? I recognized that all of the stress in running the business, like it wasn't stress. I just let it to be stress. And he said, and now I have a different outlook on things. I know that life is going to end. It's all about relationships. And he said, in a weird way, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Now, he was in a good position because he had got diagnosed with cancer. He did some treatments, and he beat it. And, uh, you know, he is in the, the remission phase, but he said it totally changed my outlook. So what does it have to do with tension headaches? Well, if you have a way that you can channel stress, whether, again, it's gardening, it's biking, it's like it's kind of a broken record. I talk about this every week because it's so important that you do something that allows you to channel stress. I love to meditate. I love to ride a dirt bike. I love the piano. I love to read. I love to joke around. If you come to my office, I will always do my best to make you laugh. I'm not a comedian. Gina and Macy sometimes roll their eyes at some of my dad jokes and some other things. Humor is an important part of medicine. And I think it's so good for tension headaches. We've got to recognize there's only so much bandwidth that you could have. And so many times with tension headaches, People allow other people to basically give them their stress and, and fears. And, and this particularly happens so much of the time with moms and with wives. And I'm not sexist. I'm not picking on women. It's just so much time in our society, women will do this. I give to my husband or my boyfriend or I give to my kids. I give to my community. I give to my faith. Um, and if there's anything left, I give it to me. And most of the time, there's not anything left. So they get fibromyalgia, they get tension, headaches. And one of the first rec things I recommend is like, we got to get centered, get your body on a schedule. And then not in our narcissistic or selfish, you know, uh, psychopathic way, but you got to say no. So it's not just for women. I, it's important for men to hear that too. I just think, I just see it a lot more in women. They just assume other people's problems. So be careful with that. That next one, cluster headaches, severe burning, piercing pain um, that come, uh, you know, in clusters. Uh, nasal congestion is a, a factor with that. And usually what happens is um, you'll see something and then it'll resolve and then, then you usually have another one. So, like, we got to interrupt this pattern. And with cluster headaches, one of my favorite things to do, and I'm on page four in our free book, is lifestyle uh, modifications, walking, exercise, and then the miracle mineral of magnesium. Like so many enzymatic reactions are, low, are related to magnesium and the magnesium deficiency. And it's one of those things that I just really, really like to tell people, you should take this. For me, I, I usually take about two to 300 milligrams of magnesium. And, uh, and so that's what a good starting spot, but it's a cofactor for 300 enzymatic reactions 
And what it does is it helps the blood vessels to relax. And so many headaches are associated with the blood circulation, either too little or, or vasodilate is too much. We have this rebound effect. Um, but, and then I also really like this herb called feverfew, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Now, going on to something a little more difficult is migraines. Migraines is an intense pulsing sensation from deep inside the head. And, and usually people are aware there's a difference between headaches and migraines. Migraines usually get the, the prodromal effect, which means you know that it's coming. And then frequently it's associated with auras, which is the change in, in vision. You, sometimes you get flashing lights or blind spots. And a lot of times the, for what people have to do for migraines is like they just have to completely detach. They go into a dark room. They can put a cold towel over their head. And most of the time, and at least in my experience with migraines, is one of the best things to do is to give it some time. A lot of times people are aware that it's coming and they can get out in front of it. And my response to treating migraines is like, what can we do to get the body in balance before the migraine attack occurs? And, and I have some wonderful patient testimonials uh, going back um, over the years, 10, 12 years of people with horrible migraines that when we started on a good program to put missing building blocks into their system. I see a lot of calcium and magnesium and calcium phosphorus imbalances in migraine headaches and then also um, associated with hormones. So I'm excited to try this new bit of technology out to you guys. Welcome to the Body Atlas. This is such a cool app. This is on my iPad. And uh, let's see, I got to get my thing. All right, right over there. Okay, here we go. So when I first started practice, I love this 3D program. Like I'm going to rotate this and be able to show people like this is a sagittal view of the brain. There we go. And what occurred, what's so neat about this is I paid like $5,000 for this 3D program. I put it in our procedures room. I hooked up to the computer just so I could show people this. And fast forward about 13, 14 years, like you can buy this. I think it's $9.99 on Apple. <laughs> which is kind of a, a, a painful but cool thing. But now I just have it hooked to my computer and I wanted to show you a couple things when associated with headaches. Number one is I wanted to tell you guys about one of the coolest structures in the body. It's called the cella turcica. So um, let me get me out of the way so that you can see this. All right, here it is. So you can see, let's see, I, I think I can even draw on this. Yes, I can. Here it comes. All right, start drawing. You guys, this little thing right here, is called the cella tersica. Now, what does the cella tersica do? It is the seat or the house of the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland, they hardly ever talk about it in medicine unless there's a tumor there that causes acromegalia, which is the giant syndrome, big hands, increased cranial structures, giantism, that's what it called, you too much stimulation of the growth hormone, and so that's usually what, where medicine kind of like stops. But what's fascinating about this is the pituitary gland, that when it sits in there, and I've got to stop drawing here. Okay, the pituitary gland, what is so amazing about this function, and we'll just take this inside of the skull. Here we go, right here. Okay, here's the skull. Is the pituitary gland, when it gets overworked and overregulated, it causes headaches. Now, the reason why it's so important to understand is because there are some things in, in alternative medicine that are really important called glandular therapy. And, and this is one of the neat things that my dad taught me about how to help people in giving the, uh, oh, here it is right here. I just want to show everybody this inside of our store. And, and then there's companies that have pituitary uh, glandular extracts. It's not a prescription. You have to hunt around for a little bit. This is what it looks like um, on our website. Like if you go to the, the supplement store, anyway, you get in here. Here's our headache protocol right here. Um, I have something called Migranol, and then uh, so many headaches are caused by stomach problems. Anyway, over here, this product here called Pituotrophin is one of the neatest things that you can do for migraine headaches, particularly with women that are inside mid-cycle, so, or excuse me, in their cycles. So when women have cyclic headaches, it's because the pituitary gland is telling the ovaries what to do. It's trying to balance out the estrogen and progesterone. It gets overworked, 
And guess what? You have this hormone imbalance. So if I go back over here to my model and I turn this around, so here's the skull. And then uh, I have the, like this cool 3D program. I'm going to remove the frontal bone here. And then if you look in here, like there this little cup is right there. And that's where the pituitary sits. And, and it's so fun to help people with this glandular supportive therapy called pituitrophin. And it's one of the neatest things I've seen. I've had people get on this. I want to say it's, you know, like $27 or something like it. Uh, I think it was four, let's see, 90 tablets. So that would be basically a three month supply. So it's like 30 cents to take this. If you support the, the pituitary gland on a lot of people with uh, those headaches, they disappear. So that is one of the neat things that I've been able to help people with. And I actually got published in the medical literature a couple of years ago um, using this particular therapy. Um, some other neat things that I've seen that are really good for headaches uh, is chiropractic manipulation therapy. And it's really important to go to a chiropractor that knows how to adjust the skull on top of the neck, not just adjust the neck. I've seen some really good outcomes with that. Uh, of course, one of my doctors is a chiropractor, so I'm really, really partial to that. The other one that I love doing and I have a fellowship in, in oriental medicine is, um, let me clear this off. I got a little bit. Okay, here we go is uh, acupuncture. So acupuncture is one of my favorite things to help balance the, the energy of the body, the, the, the she of the, of the whole body. And if there's too much, you get problems. If there's too little, there's some headache miracle points. And, and I love this therapy. Some people don't like needles. So you can do a specific type of cranial therapy. Now it's called endonasal technique. I've done some Facebook videos and some YouTube videos that there is a way to adjust the cranial structures inside of the body. Because if you look at, I'm going to go back to my 3D anatomy program here. I wanted to show everybody this. All right, so I'm going to bring this up. If you look at the skull, you see that the skull actually has joints. They're called sutures. So there's seven cranial bones, you know, the frontal bone, the temporal bone, the occipital bone, the ethmoid bone, all of these bones in here. And you look at them and look, they're like zippers or Velcro. And so many times they can get jammed up. And so there's some old school bone setting therapy, osteopathic and chiropractic manipulative therapy, where you can actually help those sutures to move. And so that's what we are associated with, um, what we call cranial adjusting. It's so powerful. I've had some really good outcomes. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can do an external thing just like this uh, picture shows um, where he's working on uh, basically the temporal sutures. But there's also a way to do it um, internally through the mouth. Um, the, the, my dad said it's the adjustment of Rosenmuller. Some of the names he came up with were awesome. I think my grandfather taught my dad. My dad taught me. That's a consideration. And then also there is some um, endonasal therapy where you can take a balloon or a blood pressure cuff. You can gently insert it into the nose. You inflate it, and it makes those sutures, you guys, it makes them go like this and go back. Now, obviously, I'm exaggerating, um, and it's, it's a very, very weird and unusual uh, technique. But it, I love it. And, and what happens is I tell people, look, I'm going to do this. It's probably going to make your eyes water. 90% of the time, you will get up off the table and you'll say, what the hell did you just do to me? <laughs> and then what happens is you'll come back and say, it made me feel so much better. I got to do it again. Now, that doesn't always happen, but it's one of the most common procedures that we do in the office. I'm so excited to be able to, to, to tell people about um, that uh, possibility or the endocranial restructuring. Then every week I talk about why it's so important to be associated or to know about neural therapy. Now, neural therapy is the nerve reset therapy. This is my son, Carter. Now, this isn't for headaches. This is actually for shoulder, but I couldn't find the picture. I actually have pictures of me getting the crown of thorns therapy. You take this little tiny B vitamin and a syringe and you inject the widest circumference of the head. It's a superficial procedure and it makes the nerves associated with the sensory of the skin over the brain, open, close, and reset. They call it um, hyperpolarization, repolarization, and depolarization. So this it's like turning off your circuit breakers and turning them back on. 
And, I, and so I love giving this therapy or, or be aware of this therapy. Okay. Um, I absolutely am in love with the miracle mineral of magnesium. I've talked about orally. I like to do it for acute headaches. I like to do it inside of the office. It's an IV uh, procedure. Usually people get a, bit, a little bit warm and it just gets all of the blood vessels and stuff to relax. I like to couple that with vitamin B6, which I didn't even have inside the report. But vitamin B6 is a natural anti-inflammatory which really helps to get nerves to reset. So I didn't talk about it out in the report, you guys, but it is so important to know about uh, vitamin B6 and then oxidative medicine. So many different ways to use uh, oxygen, to use um, hyperparic oxygen therapy, hyperparic ozone therapy. I think that there's a couple drops of hydrogen peroxide in water. It's a really effective therapy that I've seen really good outcomes with. And so I, I'm a love... I don't know which one I love more, vitamin C or oxygen for chronic health. Both of them are super important. Now, that being said, I also wanted to put this inside the report. When my dad, my son, who's getting ready to go to medical school, he and I talked a couple times, he's like, Dad, you seem to know a lot about a lot of different things. And I said, it's because people educate me all the time. Like people will come in. I had a, a patient come in today that had sinus um, lymphocytosis. So his, uh, chronic infection of his sinuses that gets into his lymph nodes, it's not a lymphoma. We had a discussion about it and it really expanded some um, parameters. It happens, like I've got 21 years of talking with people. And so if I don't know something, I would love for you to put it inside the comments of what has helped you with headaches. And maybe I can use that to help someone else. Now, that being said, you guys, I did the what would I do if I have headaches? If I'm inside my office or if my wife, my sister, or my favorite cousin, what would I do? So the first things, here, here's the steps that I would do for headaches. And I have this, let's see, back on page 11 inside of our book, the headache report, page 11. Here we go. Um, the first thing is do your very best to manage stress. Don't allow people to take their problems and put them on your plate. That's number one. The second thing is, is to drink more water. I think so many headaches have a component with dehydrations, be careful with over-the-counter medicines. Like no one wants to live in pain, but also recognize that they are not benign. With over-the-counter medicines and prescriptive therapies, remember this: they have effects. Like the, using the word side effects is just really nice, like, kind of like uh, it's just clever marketing. Drugs have effects; they don't have side effects. They have an effect. Same with over-the-counter medicines; they have an effect. Be careful with them because it can chew up your stomach and harden your kidneys and it's hard on your liver. Um, I, something else, inside of my What Would I Do program, we talk about chronic pain. And so I need to give you guys a real quick thing on, on chronic pain. And a shout out to Dr. John Jones who taught me this, a medical doctor, master's of public health, uh, one of my favorite healers that I've ran across, and he taught me this. Jason, if you take um, essential fatty acids, so omega-3s and omega-6s, at high doses, usually somewhere between three to 6,000 milligrams, and you combine it with a proteolytic enzyme. A proteolytic enzyme is, is an enzyme that helps to chew up inflammation. It can act like an over-the-counter medicine without harming your kidneys or your gut. So essential fatty acids and enzymes, you want to take that on an empty stomach because you want the enzymes to chew up pain, not chew up food. So if you take it with food, there's no harm. It's just that it doesn't do um, the, the pain control opponent. Such a nice way, such a nice alternative to aspirin. Okay, strive for body balance gets a, a complete blood cell count and a metabolic panel and look at ways that you can balance anything, particularly look at your calcium levels. I like to see those around 9.8. Anything below 9, I see a lot of chronic pain patterns. So it's, run, it's so common to see. It's run on a lot of tests. Anything below 9.0, not good. And then not very many times their magnesium levels run. They should be around 2.2, um, but, but take a look at those. Use physical medicine, massage therapy, chiropractic therapy, acupuncture, acupressure. I see a lot of body balance uh, benefit. And I have, I look, there are a lot of people that are out there that are using different types of prescriptive medicine that are working well for their headaches. Great. 
My purpose of this presentation was to give people alternatives and options to stay out of the doctor's office and know some alternatives for different types of headaches, whether it's cluster headache or a migraine headache or a stress headache. I have a lot more information in the headache report and I'm running up against time. Also consider acupuncture therapy and then the nerve reset therapy. Now, I also wanted to tell you guys about some neat natural things that are available. One of my favorite herbs for headaches is feverfew. I think it's really, really beneficial and helpful. I like that one a lot. I also like the, the mineral, uh, I said magnesium a ton of times, phosphood is absolutely fantastic as an anti-inflammatory. So I've listed that. Like if you look underneath me, just by giving you some options and recommendations, I'm not the only place where you can get some. Like I don't have any issues with that. The purpose of doing these programs is I st I've been doing them for three years of telling people this is what you do. And then everybody says, well, where do you get it? So I listed where I get it underneath me. Um, I just want you to be aware of what's available. My favorite thing for headaches is the last thing. I made it a little bit bigger. It's called pituitrophin. So here's what's in it. Whoops, I got to get over this way. I, I kind of ranked them. Like I love the stuff called migranol. You can get a description of it. So many stuff or headaches are related to stomach problems and hypoglycemia and not eating correctly, fast food, and then pituitrophin. Those are some of the things that I see in headaches. I got a ton of information inside of the headache report. If you take click on the headache master, like we put everything together, you get all four products associated with that. If you just need one of them, you can click here. If you don't need them, great. Like I've told you magnesium, uh, fever, few, Work on your gut, essential fatty acids, and a proteolytic enzyme are, are, are really effective. And then my favorite thing for headaches is something called uh, pituitrophin. All right, you guys, that is really our program for tonight on headaches. I'm so excited to be able to get better and better at this with our technology. You can get the PDF right underneath us. Next week, of course, I had a big, huge brain squeeze. My assistant, Macy's always telling me, Hey, you know what's going to be coming up. Why don't you tell everybody about it? And then I get into practice and I'm like, hey, Macy, you know how hard it is to keep everything straight? And so she's, <laughs> she's chuckling at me when I say that. So here we go. Next week, it's going to be Lyme disease. This is probably my favorite topic, my favorite thing to take care of. The great imitator, if you put 40 people into a room, you're going to get 40 different presentations. Some people are going to have joint problems. Some people are going to have heart problems. Some people are going to have hormone problems. I don't know why Lyme disease. I have a hypothesis that it attacks the pineal gland, which secretes melatonin. That's why so many people have struggle with sleep patterns. I have kind of a little you know, joke when I tell people, like, you get Lyme disease, it kind of turns you into a vampire. You can't sleep at night. You can't stay up during the day. But that's what we're going to be talking about next week. We are going to be seeing Buck's amazing story, how he beat arthritis tomorrow night on our patient success story. That's the headache report, which, by the way, at 7 o'clock, we go over to our Thrivers program, which is a virtual office visit with my patients every single week. They're inside of that program. They get so many benefits when they get a customized supplement program, a virtual office visit. We have all of our articles, um, all of our videos that we've created. They get a free uh, workup every year. They get a ride along workup, which means it's for their spouse or their kids. They can do that. Um, they get 10% off all of the supplements, 10% off our programs, everything. It's the Thriver program. And if you want more information of that, we, we have a special, the girls asked me to do this tonight and say, look, for, for anybody interested, if you will do this, we got a week to do this. And for the next seven days, the next three people that get inside of the Thrivers program, that gets us a crazy, crazy, crazy value where literally it's a, it's uh, they get a huge discount inside of the program. And so if you need any more information about that, you need to get a hold of Jody. I'm not even putting it on the internet. It's J O D I at West clinic online. Dot com, or you can call the office and ask for Jody. She'll tell you all about this special promotional program that we're doing for the next three people between now and 922. So the Thrivers program, special thing, one-on-one -on -one work with me inside of a Zoom platform meeting. Um, it's a virtual office visit every single week. We do that at seven o'clock. I wanted people to be aware of that. That being said, our headache protocol, there's so many things that cause headaches. There's so many different causes. Just wanted to touch the surface on that. There's not one size that fits all. If people are looking for things, I've got 
those recommendations, make sure you download our 12-page headache report. Next week, Lyme disease, the great imitator. We'll see you guys on that. Dr. Jason West and